What up HyperChange, welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna to talk about battery technology and why I think this is the most important technological advancement that needs to occur over the next decade for us to have a chance at fighting the climate crisis and why I've been spending so much of my time researching this. So. Those of you who know who've been following the channel, um, HyperChange has sort of a social mission. I wrote a whole book about you know why I think the world needs to HyperChange, why we need to change so many industries, get off fossil fuels, switch to renewable technology as fast as possible, and this is the only way we really have a chance to stop destroying our natural you know planet, the world, at an unbelievably rapid rate. So you can check that out on Amazon. But the point is, I've been spending t all of 2019. I think I got down this insane rabbit hole of battery technology. I was obsessed with it, staying up super late making all these videos about crazy theories about which battery researchers and which breakthroughs Tesla's working on um, and so I just wanted to make this sort of episode to explain why why do I think this is so important and uh, not only from a world perspective but from a business opportunity perspective as well so as much as I respect Greta Thunberg I read her book huge fan um, and like what she's doing getting people woke and, and starting these protests about you know we need to take rapid action on the climate crisis to sort of figure out how to solve this massive problem we're all in um, and I, I respect that so, so much. And I love the protests and where it comes from, but I'm also like, look, the real solution to this problem is technology. I frankly have no faith in governments to move fast enough to actually fix um, and, and start transitioning industries away from fossil fuels towards electric vehicles, towards cleaner energy sources, reducing plastic usage. Um, I just think, you know, there's governments are moving too slow. They're not incentivized correctly. And the only way to really solve this is technology. That is why I spend all my time researching um, which are the best battery technologies, which companies are scaling these technologies at a cheap cost, bring them to market at huge scale. Um, because I think the only way we actually get off of fossil fuels, which to me is one of the most pressing parts of this climate crisis, is better battery technology cheaper batteries. That makes the economic equation of cleaner energy so much, like work so much better. Like if you have wind energy or solar panels, where do you think that energy goes when the sun's not shining or the wind's not blowing? You need to store it somewhere. And that battery that you're paying for to store that energy, you know, when you talk about solar with a bat coupled with a battery, that cost of that battery is a huge friction to making that entire situation economical. So that's why driving down the cost of that battery is so, so important. When we talk about electric vehicles um, and, the, and the electric motor and drivetrain replacing the internal combustion engine, it's all about cost. The elect internal combustion engine is being perfected on the manufacturing line since the Model T for almost 100 years now and this electric motor technology that Tesla's pioneered the lithium ion cells in electric vehicle battery is you know a decade old 15 years old but the cost is coming down rapidly and in 2019 we have frankly reached an absurdly exciting and awesome inflection point which is that Tesla not only brought the $40,000 Model 3 to market but they have shown they can build it at a profit this is something that no other automaker has been able to achieve even remotely close to building their electric vehicles at a profit because they all outsource the production and R&D of their batteries. They're buying third-party batteries from China. They haven't been pushing and innovating in that direction because Tesla's done a decade or more of intense, extreme, vertically integrated battery production and research and scaling that technology. They've been able to drive the cost down. And now that's why we have the $40,000 Model 3. It's outselling every other car on the road. And that's why every single other auto company has now switched to electric vehicles. It all comes back to the advancements in battery technology, both from a you know performance and efficiency perspective, as well as a manufacturing perspective. And so um, the point is with this, um, Tesla has a battery and powertrain day upcoming in early 2020. They said February or March. Um, that's what I keep speculating on is what they're going to announce at that battery day. My research up to this point has gotten to, to to realize that I think A, it could be a new type of technology, but even more important than that, it's an ability to scale battery technology. It's a The technology is in building a lot of batteries for really cheap. The batteries that we have in the Model 3 are good enough to transition the world to electric vehicles, but we just need a ton of them and we need to drive the cost down if possible. So I think Tesla is going to announce a million mile battery, um, which is going to make the economics of an electric robo taxi extremely compelling. That's going to be a huge, a rapid, uh, an amazing catalyst to rapidly shift a huge percentage of our miles driven from the internal combustion engine to the electric drivetrain is if we have electric robo taxis going around that we can utilize way, way faster instead of waiting for electric vehicle production to scale towards, you know, millions and millions of, of units per year, we can get more out of those units if they last longer. That's why Tesla is working on battery longevity. But my point is um, throughout all my battery research and stuff, I realized that Tesla is in fact the leading battery investment or research R&D innovation powerhouse in the world. 
J.B. Straubel, uh, Drew Bagliano, or Bagliano, I hope I'm saying that right, sorry, Drew, <laughs> uh, Elon Musk, that whole team has really pioneered um, this amazingly affordable, efficient, and practical, and advanced electric vehicle technology that has changed the world, and they're on the cusp of announcing something even better. I guarantee Tesla is not holding a battery and powertrain investor day to not have anything new. They have something new. Elon Musk has hinted that it's about scaling battery production to a terawatt hour per year. Right now, they're at about 30 to 35 gigawatt hours. That's a 33x increase in batteries. So we're like, okay, yeah, half a million cars is cute, but we're selling 90 million a year. We need to, you know, 30x that. Elon's like, okay, well, that means we need to 30x our battery production. So they are doing it, and they're about to announce that game plan and the technology that is a part of that game plan in February or March. So not only is like, from a Tesla investor perspective, oh, their new battery technology that's going to be way better than everyone else. It's going to help them sell more cars. Their mega packs are going to be super economical now. The whole grid's going to switch. Tesla's going to make money on energy too. Um, that's amazing. But what's really, really matters is that this technology is what the world desperately needs. This is the answer to all those people protesting in the streets who are like, we need something. We need to change. We need a new battery. And Tesla's about to show us that battery. And that battery is going to make it not a feel good, green, heartwarming story to switch to green, uh, to, to switch to renewables and electric vehicles. It's going to make it a simple and just extremely obvious and compelling economic equation, and that is what's going to get the economic powers and titans and companies of the world to actually switch to make the investments up front because they're going to see that extremely clear ROI. Um, and I think none of this would have happened without Tesla and their crazy, you know, dream to do all of this. And so when I, you know, I, I get so, so excited about the opportunity Tesla has to reinvent these massive industries, but I get even more excited and passionate about the technology they're unveiling, how desperately humans need this technology. Um, we are like, polluting the planet like crazy at this unprecedented rate with no end in sight to our rate of consumption and you know energy requirements and nobody is doing anything to fix it and i think government policy isn't going to fix it because it's not sustainable you need to make the technology work that's the only way out of this is to innovate our way out um, with new advancements in battery technology and tesla is the doing a million times more than everyone else and so um anyway this is kind of my long-winded rant of why i'm so obsessed with battery technology why i think it's the most important thing going on in the climate crisis um, and that it's and um, why I'm so so proud to be a part of Tesla the company that is leading the way um, in this technology because I think this is the answer and them unveiling at the start of this new decade when there's never been more pressure it's never been more needed um, is going to be amazing and it's going to be a really awesome feel-good story um, for the world when this comes out and people realize that Tesla has the answer to many of our climate change problems and so I don't know I just think n not enough people connect the dots between like I'm super passionate about green energy, renewable technology, and I've thought so much about how do we actually solve this problem. And I keep coming back to investing in companies that are building the technologies that are going to make this a no-brainer. When you buy a $100,000 Tesla, that toy for rich people everybody was making fun of was actually just disguise as a torpedo of research and development in perhaps the most efficient way possible. Forget giving to a charity or nonprofit the structure of a of a LLC of a for-profit entity to maximize that cash flow to you to leverage it to get the most value is such an efficient process. And those people who bought the Tesla Roadster, the Model S, the Model X in the early days have subsidized the technology that is is now the Model 3 that is changing the industry, that is changing the world. So those toys for rich people were really dis, uh, that were really you know hundred thousand dollar sports cars or were really grants for renewable energy research we desperately needed that just looked like sports cars. And so anyway, that's my rant about battery technology. I'm going to be, of course, I'm going to be continuing the, the process to research it here on the channel. Huge shout out to all of you uh, commenting, emailing me, you know, trying to help me figure out the puzzle pieces to this because I wouldn't have gotten this far if it wouldn't have been for all of you. Um, but I also just want to take a step back and, and try and figure out and brainstorm how do we get people to connect the dots that this advancement in battery technology is the most important thing going on to fixing um, the biggest challenge we face as a species over my lifetime, which is getting off fossil fuels. Anyway, this is Hyper Change. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun on the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.